Hey guys, welcome to another three minute game. We're playing some dude from Argentina, it looks like. This is my new system against Knight F3 and, and C4. I think I think it's the way to go for me, honestly. Um, why am I so slow? Nobody knows. Basically, the Merxi bind, I'm pretty, so I, I understand it pretty well, so at least the opening, I'll, I'll do fine. Um, it's not the greatest opening against lower rated players because it's kind of, I guess you could say drawish or something like that, but for the most part, I, I think it's, it's pretty solid for black, and I really understand it well. Like, I, I studied it a lot in my day. The key, though, I mean, this guy's 300 points lower rated than me, so I mean, I really need to make sure to move quickly so that, you know, I can kind of outblitz him if needed. Because this is like a pretty boring line, as you can tell. All the pieces are traded off. I, I used to know this line unbelievably well. I've kind of, I've kind of lost my touch. Um, I used to know some tricky line here. I think rook f8. Yeah. I'm going to go f5. This is just a slightly confusing version of the move, but I can't remember exactly why, what the point of this move is. I used to know. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Something like rook g1 b5, but the reason for that eludes me at the moment. Uh, I'll figure it out, though. I know somehow if the rook goes to g1, I have some weird trick because of that placement of the rook. I figured this out a long time ago. I just can't remember the details. In a three-minute game, it's going to be hard to remember, but whatever. Uh, this move I've never seen before. Probably f5, whatever. Okay, buddy. Uh, maybe I had some other move, actually. Uh, let's go rook d8. Mm, what's up with rook b8? I'm just going to do this. What the hell? Try to get d5 in somehow. Uh, I guess I'll do this. He has bishop a7. No, okay. Um, knight c5. I'm confused. Alright, I'm just going to trade things, but this looks kind of lame. Oh my gosh, knight c5. What the hell is happening there? It doesn't look so... Well, I can get my... I'm going to do this. I couldn't figure out what's best. At least I keep some pieces on the board. If he takes, I take. I get the d4 square, which is kind of nice. I suppose I'll put my knight on e4. Due to lack of knowing what else to do. Uh, someday knight c3 could be useful, maybe. Uh, maybe I can go d5 sometime soon. The position feels... This feels like a weird move somehow. But Okay, he did it. I'm gonna hope this is okay, because I mean, it opens lines up against this king, which he decided for some reason to put on that square. Um, if he t okay, I guess I guess bishop takes seems pretty normal. Knight c3 you can take it. I, I guess I'll just put my rook on d8. He's going to go what rook c4, rook c7. Ah. Uh, Alright, I mean, I should be worse after rook c4, but okay, he didn't do that. Just activate the king. Now rook c4. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really know what to do about it, honestly. His rook's a little, a little trapped, but not really. It doesn't know where great to go right now, so I was hoping that would be useful for me for some reason. Don't really know what I just accomplished there. His rook still has trouble moving. He doesn't have that much time, but that move is irritating. Uh, let's go like this for some unknown reason. Rook c2 is my idea. Well, now he can't go to d2. So I get the second rank. This is not a great position to have against a lower rated guy. I mean, I'm down a pawn. I have, I'm going to win it back, but rook h4 looks really annoying, honestly. I'll have to go like king g8 or g7. Which one's better? I'm going to put my king in a square where there's no checks with his bishop later. Just in case. Alright, this is slightly annoying, but king e6, rook e2. Okay, he's trying to checkmate me now. I 
probably need to be careful here. Or g2, I guess. Attack that pawn. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Hoping not to get crushed somehow. Ooh, I win the bishop. Okay, now I'm going to win because he blundered. <laughs> Way to go, me. Uh, I guess I'll take it. I guess I'll move my king up. I hope he's not, like, super fast or something. But I have no... Okay, he resigns. Good. What's up? X I'm, I'm live streaming this and somebody says, Play for my amusement, boy. That's what I'm doing, I guess. Uh, so I win. You know, kind of a... Not the best game ever. What, what, I, I just want to check this opening, because I'm going to pl be playing it a bunch. I never saw this F4 move. Let's, let's turn on Houdini real quick. Knight F6. Oh, boom, boom, I win a pawn. Oh, I'll remember that next time. Instead I did this, and he was like, somewhat better. I, I don't know why I didn't go D5 immediately. <laughs> That's the logical move, but I, I didn't do it for some reason. I actually thought I couldn't for some weirdo reason. Bishop f7 is a typical idea to get these pawns rolling somehow, but whatever. Alright, I win. <laughs> Knight f6 was the key move that I just missed. I'm going to see you all later. I win again at 3 minute. I am unstoppable. Bye-bye.